Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right, I'm going to show you proof of dispensational teaching back in the 1500s, 1600s, and 1700s. I'm going to read you a book uh, called How to Teach Dispensational Truth by Peter Ruckman, and he gives some examples of people who have taught uh, the concept of different dispensations way before 1830, hundreds of years before 1830. I showed in my other video how there were people back in the 2nd and 3rd century that were teaching different dispensations, and here, and the quick little note, I don't agree with everything Ruckman promoted, I don't agree with everything he believes, but his teachings on dispensationalism are correct and accurate, and he does show plenty of examples of people who taught uh, different dispensations hundreds of years before 1830, so refutes the whole lie that uh, dispensationalism is a new doctrine invented in 1830 by John Nelson Darby. So I'm going to read you from How to Teach uh, Dispensational Truth, page 6 and 7, where he gives examples of, and, and, and note to sell, these dispensational systems that he mentions are not accurate, they're not biblical, but it just goes to show that this concept of teaching different dispensations, different time periods, was around before 1830, okay? regardless if these systems are correct or not. So it says at the bottom of uh, page 6, in 1640, William Gouge gave us six dispensations as follows. Adam to Noah, Noah to Abraham, Abraham to David, David to captivity, and captivity to the birth of Christ, the birth of Christ to the great white throne judgment. This system resembled the Roman Catholic system of Augustine. It left out the Mosaic Covenant and spiritualized three-fourths of the Old Testament, leading, teaching no restoration of Israel and no millennial reign. The Gentile Church of Gouge's day and age was to reign. So, this particular system, this, see what did, this particular system of dispensationalism was not correct. Okay, it was not biblical, but it does show. Like what was that? 1640. So it does show that the, the teaching of different dispensations was taught in 1640, hundreds of years, almost 200 years before 1830. Uh, next example, uh, continuing with, with uh, page six on to page seven. Uh, Pierre uh, Poirier, 1646 to 1719, gave a premillennial system, which was Calvinistic in six volumes. He described the os, os, o, o economy of the creation. Hope I'm saying that. O economy of the creation, uh, page seven. The O economy of sin. The O economy of the restoration. Now I'm on, now I'm on page seven. The o, o economy of incarnation. The O economy of the corporation of man with the operation of God. Got a notification on my computer. Sorry about that. No, no, uh, operation of God. And the economy of the universal providence. His seventh dispensation was a literal 1,000 year reign of Christ, according to Arnold Ilbert, uh, bibli Bibliographic History of Dispensationalism. And he gives some sources on that. So here you have somebody in 1646 who is around in the 1600s who also taught uh, different dispensations. Now you got Isaac Watts. 17 or sorry 1674 to 1748 he tried it this way the dispensation of innocency innocency the dispensation of the covenant of grace the no no dispensation the abrahamical dispensation the mosaical dispensation and the christian dispensation he misses the davidic covenant the throne of david the rapture the tribulation which is properly called the uh, time of jacob's trouble or you can call it the time of the heathen in ezekiel 30 or 30 verse 3 and it's the time of jacob's trouble in jeremiah 30 verse 7 he just using the term tribulation, the restoration of Israel, and the millennium. So here, another example of a dispensational system back in the 1600s. Other dispensational systems have been worked out by John Taylor of Norwich, seven, or 1694 to 1751. John Fletcher, uh, 1729 to 18, sorry, 1729 to 1785. Uh, David Bouge, 1750 to 1825. Adam Clark, 1762 to 1832. John Presley, 1733 to 1804. Uh, John, George Faber, 1773 to 1843. And David Russell, 1779 to 1848. Before Delby, Darby, Cronin, and Bullinger showed up. So, and, and I like what he also says down below. 
uh, not naturally, there is not one Roman Catholic on this list. Catholics are not Bible believers, so rightly dividing the word of truth, according to 2 Timothy 2.15, is as foreign to them as Mary's other children. Psalm 69, verses 8-9. to nine. No Catholic ever knew about the Bible to discuss to even discuss dispensations until the works of C.I. Schofield and Clarence Larkin were common public domain. So we've got 1909 to 1929. So there you go. Dispensational systems back in the 1500s, 1600s, and 1700s. Hundreds of years before John Nelson Darby in the 1830s. So again, more proof against the lie that dispensationalism is a new doctrine that was only invented in the 1800s. It's a lie. Okay. And here's the thing. Okay. We just show, showed proof in the other video. I showed proof of ancient, like thousands of years before John Nelson Darby, they're being uh, taught different dispensations. Now you got people hundreds of years ago. But here's the thing: even if it was only invented in 1830, or let's say, let's say it further, let's say it was invented only in 1930 or 1990. Okay. Well, who cares? Who cares when is when it was invented? Because what is the standard? What does the scriptures say? That's the standard. The standard is never who said what first or who came up with what first. No, the standard has always been what does the scripture say? So really, it doesn't really matter if it was only invented in 1830. What does the Bible say? That's the standard. But I just want to show you proof that it was around. The teaching of different dispensations was around before 1830. So don't be deceived by the non-dispensationalism or non-dispensationalist. Uh, non-dispensationalism is a very wicked satanic heresy. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.